Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome. I'm on camera today. <laughs> Hi, Prime. How you doing? So I've got one more day off. So you hope you don't nod off. Well, I hope you don't either. Uh, man. All right. So today I'm changing, <clears throat> changing it up a little bit. We're not done with Skyrim, um, but I thought we'd take a short break from it to play some Half-Life Alex. And that's kind of one reason I'm on camera today because, um, you know, Skyrim, there's not a lot of VR doings, I guess. I don't know really how to say it, but you know, interactivity. It's pretty much point click just with my arms, a little bit more motion. Alex is a little bit more involved, at least from everything I've seen of it. Um, so I thought I would go on camera. It means I had to get dressed, so I hope you all appreciate this because I've been streaming in my pajamas for the past month. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought we would do it with the camera. So you can kind of like, you know, see my body movements and all that kind of stuff. So that's why, unfortunately, the rats are none too happy about it because it means all the bright lights are on. And plus they're grumpy today because their play space got taken down and they're very unhappy about that. Very unhappy. <laughs> they got <laughs> over the weekend. Oh my God. So over the weekend, um... I put them up at night because they've started, they've got, a, they've got two cages and they can access both of them through some series of boardwalks. Um, and so Flynn has taken to climbing the cage on the outside and it's a tall cage. It's almost as tall as me. And so he'll climb it from the bottom to the top and then he gets up there and he kind of, he gets a little bit tired. <laughs> He's learned there's platforms back there he can kind of rest on now, but at the time, um, he was he was getting tired, and uh, plus he was it would bring him up over the barrier, and we didn't want him to fall and hurt himself with nobody in the room or anything like that. Um, so I put him up at night. Usually we don't kind of bother because you're usually pretty good about being kind of quiet. Um, so I put him up at night. And, um, they didn't like that. They didn't like that at all. <laughs> they, uh, I went to bed. They were closed up in their cage and I just heard nothing but noise. Nothing but noise for like 20 minutes. Now, another thing that we do is there's a rope bridge, rope and wood bridge that goes from their cage to a platform that then goes to the other cage. And I left that hooked up. Now, the last time I'd ever left that hooked up and we had gone out somewhere while they were in the cage, they chewed it. They chewed the rope. But they hadn't done it since. And against my better judgment, I was like, I'll leave it. So, yeah, for the next 20 minutes, I hear nothing but rattling and, and all kinds of noises. And I'm like, I know what they're doing. I know exactly what they're doing. They're chewing the rope. <laughs> so after 20 minutes of all this noise... I finally come in, sure enough, they chewed the rope. <laughs> but they were still protesting. They were rattling the, the clips and everything else. And when I came in, they were climbing the bars everywhere I went. So if I went to one side of the cage, they climbed the bars. And I went to the other side, they were climbing. They were protesting me having caged them up because when I caged them up, they were waking up. So it was playtime for them. <laughs> and so they were very angry at me for caging them when I went to bed. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just, uh, having rats, <laughs> but okay. That's my rat story. I tweeted this. So if you saw, you probably saw it on Twitter, but okay. Um, so yeah, hopefully the cameras are fine. You know, I haven't really done much to them. Yeah, they did protest. They absolutely did protest. They were they were quite angry. I also hope the controllers last. I forgot to charge them this weekend. Um, I absolutely forgot to charge them this weekend. <laughs> so they're only at half capacity. So hopefully they last the stream. Um, I haven't done anything with Alex, so I don't know. Um, ooh. So I do not know, here we 
sure it's getting too long. Um, I don't know what the settings are going to be or anything. So, it was a very tiny <laughs> protest. I think this game does full screen. If not, I've got ways around it, but I'm pretty sure this game does full screen. Because my girlfriend played it a little bit and I, I saw it. But I, I have not loaded it up on my computer yet, so we'll see. But so it'll be nice to to play the uh, play something that actually utilizes the controls, the controllers. Whoa, that's loud. Is that loud to you? Oh, that's loud. Okay. Looks like you're seeing, oh no wait, it's a window. Okay, we'll see if we can fix that. that volume down quite a bit. Sure. It's hard to get my thumbs to go <laughs> the scroll wheel. Where is This is your stuff. Um, spectator HUD in Steam VR off, spectator zoom. Okay. pretty good like it doesn't let me open my hands all the way but yeah it doesn't read this one right because my thing my index I'm using my index fingers but my index finger is supposed to go here that's cool um... so I don't really have Any control subtitles on. On. Show subtitles and closed captions only in the spectator window. So you guys will be able to see subtitles. Um, okay. Format, slow fidelity. Well, my computer is really good. We'll go with high. Um, let me see. So that's where it's expecting me to stand. Can I stand there without? Okay, good. Took my glasses. Uh, can I take this window and full screen it? No, I cannot. Okay. Why? Can't reset. 
size it. All right, let me let me try something here. Let's do it this way then. We'll do the sort of cheesy way now. I'm going to. I thought it went full screen. It turns out it doesn't. Let me... Sources. Here we go. Turn that off. Add another Accomplish a basic understanding of how OBS works. That's good. It takes a little bit, but. Not sure if it's reading the window. We might have to. Do a window capture instead. Normally I can pick the game. Specific window, here we go. Okay, so that. Perfect. So you can kind of see how I cheese things when I capture them. Um, so this needs to go on the bottom so you can see the alerts. There you go. So you can see kind of how I cheese things a little bit. Um, then I get rid of that, and then I go bam. But you can still see the rim, so then in the other OBS, <laughs> I go over here, and I've got a filter that that. So, there you go. Some tricks on how I capture games. <laughs> hey, Dark Omen. How's it going? All right. That might work then. Because, yeah, I thought it was going to be full screen, but it turns out it's just a window, so we're having to, again, kind of do the slightly cheesy capture with the two PC setup. I have to do a couple little tricks. But, yeah, you learn OBS well enough, you start learning how to <laughs> cheese things. All right. I think leaving the window up in the background underneath OBS makes it run better, at least in my typical experience. I've tried minimizing it before, but it seems to hurt things more than it helps. All right. Okay, so, good. Can you guys like, hear what little music there is? Or is it too low? Is it too loud? 
Or do you think the audio currently as it stands, stands sounds just right? Again, the game wants me to stand right here. Can I move that? Disability. Okay, crouch action. Crouch action drops your eye to quickly duck. And this option is on. The crouch action is, avail is available during gameplay. Might need that. Well, we'll try it without light sensitivity off. Controller off. Okay. I think everything else is in game. It's a shame. Okay, how much space? Okay. I'm going to have to stand over here. <laughs> Because I don't have the space to really stand over there. Doesn't sound like much is happening here. The, you hear audio clear, just not hearing much. Okay. I'll put it up just a little bit. I mean, there's that going on in the background, but okay. Alright, I think we're ready to go, hopefully. Hopefully the game doesn't complain that I'm standing slightly to the side. Um, yeah, this game is very much better. The, the Skyrim mod that allowed me to use my hands wasn't quite as good as this is. This one's quite good at detecting where my... Even the lab, actually that's not right. Cause look, I'm only putting my middle finger down on that control. Cool. Close enough, I guess. All right. Movement blink. No. Teleport to destinations. Move continuously based on your head orientation. Move based on my hand orientation. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Let's go. So this game was made for these controllers. You can play it without them, but it was made for them. See, my controllers are low on battery. <laughs> well, they're half. Again, that's one of those things in VR, because these lights don't actually exist on the controllers. That light does up here at the top, but those don't. It's always such a weird thing. Five years before the collapse of the Citadel and the death of Eli Vance. Teen female affiliation human resistance. Current assignment reconnaissance. Oh, that's rumbly. The audience is now deaf. Yeah, that's loud. Oh no. I don't know how to go into settings. Ooh, that is loud. As long as you can give the finger to NPCs, you're fine with it. <laughs> so is that loud? Because that was loud as hell to me. Pidgey! Birdie! Oh, that's how I get into him. I'm going to assume that's loud. If it wasn't loud, feel free to tell me. It's the 
still feels kind of loud, but again. We're making a mod for Half-Life 2 or something that you could play Half-Life 2 in VR. And I was very excited about that. I don't know if it's out yet. It might be, but... Yeah, that'd be awesome. A little bit. Might have been the helicopter. Could have been. Alright, yeah, just let me know the volumes. crushed it. Oh, it's pressure sensitive. Look. Apparently I don't know my own strength, though. Like, I just barely grab it. Just like, eh? Oh, that is cool. Nice. Oh. Oh, well, there went, there went the spray. No little triggers. We got gelatinated calorie place. Egg egg flavor. Mm. <laughs> I love that I can crush that stuff. That's cool. Oh, and that can just suddenly teleport if I do that. Interesting. If I hold down on that, or anything else? Okay, cool. What's that? Anyway, I'm playing around here, because it's fun. Well, this game looks really good, too. All right, let's go. God, so easy to throw things. <laughs> Getting a call? Hello? Alex! How's it looking up there? Hey! It's good, Dad. Metrocot movement is normal. Same for the combine patrols. How's it going in the stockyard? <laughs> One combine mini reactor from a shipment of 4,000. They're never going to miss it. Here, see for yourself. <laughs> and not only that, someone's hacked into the combine construction. Don't get greedy, guys. We're not made of time here. One minute and I'm out. Guaranteed. Oh, also, I spotted the Combine moving supplies into the quarantine zone. That place has been deserted for years. Hmm. That is all. Well, what is well, we'll look into it when we get back. What is it? Meet back at the safe house, baby. We'll be there soon. It looks like... What is it, Russell? Would you... Terrific. Uh, yeah, you can flip people off. Eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pylon 7B, huh? No. Seven C.
What? It's eyes. <laughs> No screen door. Uh, I mean, vaguely it has it, but it's not like. I mean, it's 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 got like the usual, but I mean, it's it's pretty solid. See, it's just eyes. God, you really could draw on this. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, most, for the most part, there's no, like, everything looks pretty clear for the most part. You get a little bit of that screen door, but it's mainly, like, really kind of out there. But they kind of fog it up anyway, so you don't see a lot of it. It's pretty good at, like, guessing where my fingers are as well. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I guess that's it for the call, huh? So where am I going? I don't have any really other controls. So what do I need to do? I guess this is my door? and hold to toggle the game menu. Okay, yeah, we've already we've already seen that, but now I can get in here. Hello SCP. Welcome. So yeah, how's everything else look, by the way? Does everything else look, look fine? Yeah, see, in here it looks really good. You really don't get that screen door effect much at all. Interesting. I fixed that, come on. <laughs> We're not animals here. That's loud. Can I turn that down? Combat music game. That would turn that down like by a lot. Uh, please go home. Yeah, keep letting me know if things are off. <laughs> oh, hi. You want some food? Here. <laughs> Have some of that. Oh, apparently, oh, don't lean into things too much. What is that? I guess that's like a target. Man, now that is hard, that is hard to see. What do we have here? Oh, is this for, uh... 
His name was actually Dog, wasn't it? Or was it? I can't remember. You know how long it's been since I played Half-Life? <laughs> but that little stuff is interactable. It's crazy. Going down, or am I? I guess that's where I gotta go. Hmm. Hey, Tim. Alex. What's up? Alex, are we good? Yep, they got the reactor. Easy peasy. I'm headed back to the safe house right now to meet Dad. Go. We'll be in touch. Stay safe. You know, this seems very topical, I'm gonna say. Oh, scared the bird. What's that say? Does not spin, just fills with water. Don't we all? <laughs> I thought that said beat rice, but it's just Beatrice. <laughs> Likes chasing bugs, eating dr bugs. Does not answer to name. Snark from Blast Black Mesa. Oh man. It has been so long since I played Half Life. Way too long. I don't remember so much from it. I like zap myself, just, you know, flip people's power off. What is it? This doesn't seem like a routine sweep. Are you sure everything went okay? 100%. Something's got the CPs riled up. Keep your head down and be smart. So the question is, do I have the space in front of me to duck if I have to? My knees aren't good for it. I'm just going to say that. I've got bad knees. Return your housing block now. Fuck the police. Oh, it just breaks entirely. for the combine. No police. Hey, Pidgey. Man, this game looks good, though. Man. If it's built for VR, they can make it look really good. I mean, the fidelity is pretty high, all considered. I can run. I can only see walk.
Okay. I guess this is where I get my ladder practice. Oh, oh, wow, that just lurches me up. said to every combine don't kill him <laughs> well if you have that kind of power tell him not to kill anybody because the only good combine are the ones who quit Uh, how do I get out? You have been in an accident. Take the headset. Okay. Alex, you there? You've, you've got to get moving. Russell, I've been in an accident. I know. I caused it. So technically, not an accident. You've got to get moving. Wait. Wait, where's Dad? He's fine. Follow the drone. So, Dad's okay, right? Yeah, well, no. To be honest, he's in huge trouble. But... They've still got him. He was in a separate transport. And you saved me? Well, yes. I had no way of knowing who was in which van, so... Yes, the result was that I saved you. Do we know where they're taking him? Criminal holding. And then, when they realize he's Eli Vance, to Nova Prospect. But I'm already working on a plan to get him back. You're close to my lab. Keep following the drone. We'll figure out what to do. Oh, push. Russell, what did you guys find back there? Well, that's the crazy thing. I don't know. Just blurry pictures of a, a building. The Citadel? No, something else. And whatever it is, they're going to kill anybody who saw it. And anybody who knows anybody who saw it. Which means us and your dad. Russell, just hang on. I'm almost there. Okay, but it's not actually letting me jump. Yeah, there. There. Why not just give me an actual jump? Fallout and Skyrim let me jump. I can handle it. 
Not everything has to be freaking teleporting. Ugh. You're gonna be fired. <laughs> Just let me jump. I can handle jumps. Alex, great. Okay, let's wait. My drone's okay. Yeah. Nope, it exploded. I'm fine, by the way. Right, good work, Z. That's the main. Okay, I need to make sure I'm still facing forward, too. Russell, they've got Dad. I know. This, this is bad. They're gonna find out what he knows, and then, yeah, they, they're gonna kill him. Oh, God. But, uh, the good news is, we've got something they don't. Which is? My plan to get him back. Great. Let's hear it. Now, pretty soon they're going to realize that your dad is not going to talk. And when that happens, he's off to have his brain sucked out. Russell. Potentially. Uh, maybe not, though. I mean, they could just drill into his... Oh, yeah. Still your dad. Right. Well, what they will do is take him by train from here. This is Eli. To Nova Prospect. And if he gets on that train, that's it. Right? Not necessarily. Grab something that represents us. Grab something that represents us. Um, sure. What about this? Yeah, just grab it. Okay, that's you. I <laughs> thought you said us. Well, one of us, me, will have to stay here for this plan to work. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Just outside, there's a second train that also leads out of City 17 through the quarantine zone. Okay. Both trains intersect here at Fairview Junction. You take your train, get there before his train, and hack into the controls. That'll let me take over the system. Train comes to a halt, you deal with the combine situation, and we get your dad back. Sounds good. Where's the train I'm taking? Out the back, through the yard. It's decommissioned, but I think I can hack into its controls. Oh, and get yourself a pair of Russells on the way out. Russells? <laughs> the gloves, Alex. You know, the gravity gloves. I have a few sets through there. Oh. You can calibrate them out by the shed. Got it. Okay. We can do this, Alex. I just realized I can put my hand over my mouth. You got that, didn't you? Though? I said we could do it. Because we're going to do it. Yeah, we are. I'm with you every step of the way. When you were a kid, you couldn't, we couldn't just teleport over obstacles. We had to jump properly. We were grateful. <laughs> well, fine. Go back to your Fallout VR if you want to complain. I will, darn. Oh, that stings a little. Okay. All right. Well, I got the gloves. Oh, you want me to go out here? All right. All right, you know how this goes. There should be a bunch of junk down there. Aim at something with your hand open. Okay. My hand's open. Yep, you're tethered. Now close your hand. 
Oh, I see. Press to lock target. What? Press what? Targeted. All right, make a fist. Press what to lock target? You've got it. Just a little flick of the wrist. Now catch it. Oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. Yep, you're tethered. Make a grip. Just like that. Great. Try again. So, when at that. Registered. Now flick your wrist to bring it in. Try catching it. Just like that. Yep. One more time. You're attached. Make a grip. You're on it. Nice. Perfect. We're done. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, I almost forgot. Huh. Alex, up here. Yeah. You're going to need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now. Thanks. <laughs> So, point. Uh. Pick up the gun, Alex. Oh, almost forgot. Guns need ammo. Yeah, they do. Here you go. Did I catch it? Oh, I caught it. So insert magazine in the pistol. Right, heading back to the cob room. Press button or pull slide chamber. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's locked to my hand, too. Cool. All right. Awesome. I feel like <laughs> I know it is. There's like just a few things I'm like grip. <sighs> so if I just yeah, okay. So I don't even have to close my fist beforehand. I can just cool. Oh, I love I love the grip feature of these controllers. So I'm just gonna gr I'm gonna be grabbing everything. See a hot dog in someone's hand? Just whoop. <laughs> my hot dog now. Oh, you uh, took care of that lock then. Good, yeah. great. Did have the key for it, but should have given you that. That's that's on me. Thanks. Start ammo backpack by releasing over your shoulder. Okay. Cool. Can I do that? No. Guns in my hand for. To mantle, push and hold while moving. Oh, to mantle. Oh, I see. All right, here we go. Next stop, Fairview Junction. Thanks, Russell. And good luck, Alex. Goodbye. Obviously, just to let you know, I am still here, though. I know. Oh, hmm. Guess I'm supposed to be facing. It says I'm supposed to be facing that way. Definitely not. Hello, Alex. We Whoa. might have a problem. Probably nothing to worry about, but. Did the train stop? Yeah. It stopped, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened? Oh, it's jammed. When the Combine shut down the quarantine zone, they must have tightened security. Which means? Yeah, you're nowhere near Fairview Junction. You're just outside the QZ. And this is as far as we get by train. Then I'm headed on foot. Good. I'll see if I can get you in some other way. Okay. I guess the game begins proper. I got a dead zombie here. I, I thought the Combine sealed up the QZ. Whoa. Oh, this one must have squirted out. I've heard they've had trouble with barnacle spores outside the containment area. But not about fellas like this. Probably not a one-off then. I doubt it. Whoa. I guess we're playing, uh, we're playing, um, Saints and Sinners again. Gun is locked in my hand, isn't it? So anything I do is going to be done with the other hand. Yeah, because there's no. Play. 
putting it down. Ah, would you look at that? Resin. And if there's resin around here, there should be a combine fabricator. Keep an eye out. We might be able to upgrade your firepower a bit. Look out, Mousy. Look out. <laughs> Don't get hurt. Oh, look at the cute rats. Are you okay? I hope you're okay. You're good, ratty. You're good, ratty. <laughs> this with my multi-tool. Your what? It's a tool with multiple functions. So, you know, multi-tool. Oh. So that tells me how much ammo I have then. Cool, so I've got <laughs> three hearts, so we're playing Legend of Zelda, I guess. 20 bullets. All right. All right, let's go. No matter how much, I have to quickly, s have to quickly switch to and from your hand. I can just hmm. pick up heavy objects with both hands. Oh, I see. You know, the years I've been doing VR, this doesn't stop being cool. <laughs> I've been doing VR for so long now, and it still never fails to impress me. Who's this? Someone dropped their ointment? Oh, I got my luggage. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, careful of that barnacle, Alex. Oh, is this TTT? No. Oh, they're gross. Just to eject magazine. 
about from that pack. I say TTT because I watch some people that play TT on YouTube and barnacles are one of the actual Half-Life barnacles are uh, one of the... Surely I can pick that up. No, I can't. Really? It's like... Ugh. Can't put it in my back. <laughs> How'd you meet my dad, anyway? You guys work together at Black Mesa, right? Yeah. Well, no. Tricky place to get a job at, actually. I interviewed at Black Mesa. They said try again in a year. I don't need to tell you what happened after that. Lucky break for me, really. Not a lot of survivors. Honestly, it's a miracle you and your dad got out of there. Three bags left. Good lord, there's a lot of them. I think I'm supposed to go around if I can. Maybe. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> can you, like, not be in my way here? Here, just come on out. Why are you stuck? Come here. Ooh. Here, you want... You want something to eat? Ooh. Okay. I don't have a lights or anything. This glove in real life. <laughs> Shakespeare line lost. Uh, yeah, let's not spend too much ammo on this, but I need to get around him. Hey, you got ammo. Good. Three mags left. Oh, wait. Three left. Might as well. Maybe it's got ammo in it. Nope. Gunplay feels good so far. Don't know if I can run yet. I've gained no indication I can. Oh, uh, do you need a minute? <laughs> Cause, uh, I mean, I could, I could pause the feed. Yeah, just give. <laughs> just looking, Raz. No, just give me a minute here. Ugh. <laughs> Toss the body onto them. So they go, oh, I tried, but it was like very difficult to get the body to move. Ooh, hello. Just give me. <laughs>
This is all really cool. Again, VR never fails to impress me. Ever. <laughs> I mean, things like Skyrim and, and Fallout, you know, become commonplace just because you play them for a long time, but then you get into a new VR game and you're just like, we're back. need to duck because my body is not gonna take it it's <sighs> like jump up there. I take it the quarantine zone is behind this hatch? Yeah, yeah, that's where they keep it. I'll look around for a control <laughs> panel to open it up. Stairs. Of course, I try to take the hard way. thought it was making noise. <laughs> get out of the window. <laughs> Just get out of the window. Ugh. <laughs> what are you stuck stuck on? All right. Ugh. I, yeah, I touched the butt. <laughs> yeah, if I need to duck, it's game over. No fancy tricks. Is that bottom drawer there? I don't have a flashlight or anything, so. Touching the light. Ah, oh, there we go. You actually have to flick your wrist. It's not just pull, it's you actually have to flick. So they just squish these things to heal. It almost seems very cruel, but then again, it is the combine, isn't it? Let's see. What do we 
have. You know, Russell, now that I'm walking into the quarantine zone, it just hit me. I don't know anything about the quarantine zone. Well, actually, the word quarantine comes from the Italian quaranta giorni, uh, which means 40 days, the period that all ships were required to be isolated before crew could go ashore during the Black Death. All right. Cool. Okay, what do I do? As Fairview Junction. You'll go through the old subway tunnels on your way to the train yard. Have they started moving Dad yet? I don't think so, which is good news because we've still got time. Oh, that's great. Or bad news because they've already killed him. And you don't need to move a corpse, you just bury it. Or burn it. Still there, Alex? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like all the interactivity they're doing. All the puzzles and whatnot. Don't really know much about the Half-Life story. I've only played parts. You can see your problem. Too many squish bits in there. Yeah, it, it's. I've played all the Half-Lifes. I even have the remake of Black Mesa um, that I haven't played that, but I've played the other Half-Lifes, but it's been so long that I forget a lot of the storyline. Russell, are you seeing this? Whoa. All right, here we go. That's a heart. Can't store that. <laughs> zone. I'm not used to zoning like this. <laughs> they could do it a lot more cleaner, it feels like. So. <laughs> hey, Russell. I just found a loose syringe of God knows what. Is this medicine? Does it have a skull and crossbones on it? I don't see one. Probably medicine then. Well, look, it. It actually responds to. to items in wrist pockets. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> that seems explosive. Let's be careful with that. Do you hear that? Oh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's the way we gotta go. No shortcut? Yeah, that is the shortcut. Okay, can I shoot through fences? <gasps> yeah, you can. <gasps> Alright, that seemed to work. Let's keep doing that. Four shots. Oh, just so you know, the Russells have a built-in display. It shows your resin, ammo, you know, might come in handy. Got it. Thanks. Shows my resin? Uh, what you can remember is a Half-Life story. One day you're being screwed with the laws of physics because that's how we roll and accidentally ripped a hole in space-time. I mean, aliens popped out. Karma then proves, in fact, to be a bitch. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, space-time was, was ripped. You end up going other-dimensional, and then you've got things like... I'm trying to warn... I, I don't know, though. Was the com was this world always kind of like this? The Combine are kind of alien, aren't they? Or were they part of the original government? Because, of course, Half-Life 1, you just spend the entire time in the facility, and then Half-Life 2 is when you end up out in the actual world. Ugh. That is unfortunate, isn't it? God, am I... I'm losing bullets when I do that. I think. Maybe. Actually, no. I don't think I am. Bit awkward ladders. Gross. Polyps. Let me stand back. Stare at the Not as good as I'd hoped. Though, if I give them... Oh, that's right. In the original Half-Life, I think if you gave them an exploding canister... They would take it up, and then you could shoot it out of their mouth. They just pop it anyway. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh 
boy. Yeah, be careful. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old crabs. A different experience. Well, you asked me about the combine? Oh, Moon asked a question by the Combine, did I? <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Never mind. How do I... Come on. Just grab that. There we go. Oh, is that so awkward? Pop them through here. Hey, can you come over here? Oh, shit. This bitch didn't want to go down. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think there were aliens that ended up in part of the government, something like that. I don't honestly remember. I'm gonna have to just I just Just go over that. <laughs> Boy, this don't seem good. Alex, I think that's a combine fabricator. Put something in it. I want to see how this thing works. Got it. Will it work on the Russells? No, but it should fix up that pistol nicely. Good thing, too, I gave you one of my lesser guns. Thanks, Russell. Well, you know, in case it doesn't make it back. Tell you what, Russell. If I die, I owe you a gun. You owe me a gun anyway. That wasn't a gift. <laughs> That's my gun. Fine. So how do I... Oh, I see.
Burst fire, bullet reservoir, laser sight. Hmm. Reflex sight. That's all I have. A display that highlights tactical targets. Oh, neat. Hacking minigames, never know what you're going to get. Pretty, oh, there's a bench right there. Huh? Nope, don't need batteries. Stay there in case I need you. Might need to recharge a heal station or something. Oh, there. need life so it's oh that poor thing <laughs> oh it does add to it though look okay I didn't know that so I missed one kind of near back the other area because I thought I didn't need it okay fine that's tactical, yeah, okay. Okay, that woke you up. Oh, hi. I like it though, because I'm used to I'm used to aiming down the the sights. I want to get used to aiming down that reflex sight. Markov, thank you for the follow. See, now it's getting tense. Couple there. Wish I had more explosives.
was an explosive right there. I didn't see it. Why don't you come out here? Here you go. Yeah, that worked. Stand in the center. Wait till you get burst fire on the Russell gun. Oh lord. <laughs> There's something behind that barricade. Let's take a look. Might be something in that box. Do I want to waste the ammo on that? Take me six to eight shots to even get through. At best, it's a clip. Pick things up with two hands. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? I don't know, and I don't like it. one clip or one in the chamber not with head crabs
Okay. Where's your crowbar? Uh, that's... But I'm not... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Remember the gun Alex has in Half-Life 2? Once you get burst by it, it becomes the exact same gun. Oh, neat. It's been so long since I've played Half-Life. I mean, it's been well over a decade since I've played Half-Life. What Half -Life. do you think about Dad, Russell? No. Radio silence since he got on the train. Damn it. Well, the good news is he's probably fine. How do you know that? Because they're taking him to Nova Prospect to torture him. That's the torture place. So they're hardly going to torture him before they get there. So he's fine. Logically speaking. Oh, <laughs> that freaked things out a little bit. I suppose you can distract things with sound, can you? Also, why don't I have a flashlight? <laughs> In? Probably not. We can't get out. There's no point in going in. Or no point in shooting him. Although, there's a. Is there a healing station in there? Can he break out? Maybe a healing station in there. You stay right there. Um... Dan, thank you for the follow. This game really turns you into a a hoarder looter. <laughs> Do check out the mod scene. Yeah, I want to I want to see like the mod scene after I've played this. So the fact that they've added mods, I'm curious as to like what mods people are going to what mods people have added to this. I'm almost guessing in that other room there was a heal station. They're all dead, right? What is that? The shit. wasn't an issue. I'd double tap every last one of these bastards. Wait, that, that one's Black Mesa. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. 
That's... That's what's his name. Is it like... We're telling his coming or something? It looks like pictures of Mordecai's. crazy. Weird but harmless. That's how your school counselor described you. <laughs> Same for me. Weird but harmless. Okay. Why is that pulsing? Right. Um... Is there more I'm supposed to look at that? Guess not. Is it like... Even has audio in here. Is it wanting me to look at something specific? this. Alright. Just wipe my hands on it. Alright game, give me a hand here. Am I gaining from this? Is it this? Think about this? You definitely want me to open this. Whoa. Oh. More floating cardboard. That's why it was. It's how you look at it, too. It's a perspective thing. It's the eye again. I like it definitely wants me to look at that, but... It's not anything I'm gonna waste a bullet on.
close. What do you want from me? I know, look at the thing. Get out. Power box might be. S yeah. It's like it. Oh, it runs up there. Oh, I didn't see this side. I'm an idiot. So. I get it. I know now. I know the puzzle. Okay. So it's pointing out those things. Okay. So that one and that one. I get it. So push that one. And that one. Ah! Took me a little while, but I got there in the end. I'll go to between my her current height and stand. What's our Vortigaunt doing here? Cooking. Right, but I mean, in general. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry to... My brain is injured. That's terrible, yeah. and I hope... Look, I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. Yeah, it is. The... Eli... Eli Bans. Bans. yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine, yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate This way. I can't stick around. I... It is important. <laughs> I know, I'm sure it is. The Alex Vance must go this way anyway. Okay. Fair point. Uh -oh. Fair point. This is cool. Oh man. Um, the 
combine at other of my kin. Um... Hey, like the Eli Van. The Alex Van will free them. I would help. I, I really would, but the Alex Vance is honestly very busy saving her dad. You will not save him. He is dead. What? Or he will be. Is or will be? It is a matter of perspective. But Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. I... Look, thank you for everything, but I really have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The combine drilled here. I am severed from the Vortessens. I am alone in my head. I'm sorry. Look, if, if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I haven't. Then you I will. will. I will. <laughs> Just or two. I can save. I can save one or two. Courage, Alex Vance. Three. Three is harder. Three is really hard. Okay. Guess I'm going through there. Oh, you're gonna seal me up after I go through, huh? Could I? Your journey brings you this far. Just a little farther. Oh, I can go through there. Can I can I go through here? What's in here? If I go It's the same place. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um cool. I can't actually go over the Your bar. Mission begins. Oh, I see. You're okay. You're opening that way. I have to go down here. But then yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. You're a really cool dude. I like you. Uh Oh, thanks. Is that for me? I will help the Alex fans. Look to the northern star. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. Oh, uh, sure, thanks. I'll eat it later. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. Their animations are so good too, and it's, it's like to see the animations done so well in VR. I mean, it's not unusual for video games now to be mocapped and everything, but it's pretty rare to see that level of animated quality in a VR game. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay. I can't seem to duck without just actually having to duck. It's unpleasant. For my knees. Through my knees. Fresh head crab. Breakfast of champions. That are. They, they taste... They don't taste like chicken. They taste like a three-day-old ham that's been sitting under your couch. But it's been lightly sprinkled with a little bit of garlic and pepper. Oh. Um, oh. Really? I'm taking it slow, but it's just like I'm I'm admiring everything. <laughs> just seeing all the details is is or will be. Okay. Alex. Yeah. Alex, the signal's back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you okay? Russell, I'm good. How's Dad? I've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. Let's see if there's anything hidden in the dark there. Okay, they just keep those down here. Seems good. Seems good. Can't just put it on my face. 
Aha, I knew it. Uh, door's jammed. Warning, infestation control. Oh, good. Sounds good. <laughs> I, d I do. Special gloves that give me Jedi powers. Okay, I can't duck down that low. Uh. Oh, good. You got a little. Do you need a. Do you need a little napping, napkin? I don't know. You get a little. Ugh. Stuck on there. Ooh. Come on, show me your. So show me your happened when you cut out? You're not gonna believe this, but I ran into a Vortigaunt. A Vortigaunt? What was he doing down there? I, mean, I think he escaped from the combine. What did he say? They're armored. You ever meet a Vortigaunt? He said. Okay, let's take care of these other two before I deal with that one. Hard to hit that bit. There we go. Oh, it replaces. Okay. So I got one in each arm. Okay. A canister, huh? I'll see what I get. I'll see what I can find. Do you have canister? I wonder if I could. I'm gonna waste a bullet testing something here. Please do not send those armor. Oh, that border guy I met, he did give me a head crab to eat. Oh, great. What does it taste like? Tell me how you- Russell, Russell. I didn't eat it. Right. Of course you didn't. No, that's, that's the right decision. I felt it was a bit rude I didn't eat it. What's going on down here? They're all head crab traps. Interesting. Wonder which way I should go. I can't duck down this low. <laughs> uh, my knees are screaming at me. A shotgun. And I just oh, he's got a lot of things, doesn't he? Come on. 
Let it go. Fine. Can I shoot the cable? No. What if I shoot your hand? Nothing, huh? I'm just going to let you down. Just like I do everyone. Come on. <laughs> Wiggle! There we go. Whoa. Do you hear that? Yeah. Let's get this shotgun and get out of here. Going down. Uh oh, that's death. Alex? That, Alex! That's death. That was death. Death. Looks like in Steam VR accessibility mode, you can make it toggle crouch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I saw that. Get it. Nope, 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 nope. Got it. Hurry up and load that thing. It's getting louder. Where? How do I? It's, oh, it's got more than two shots. I love this gun. Whew. It's got two more than two shots. Okay. Did not know that. Oh. That was unpleasant. <laughs> that was greatly unpleasant for me. Ugh. I hate when games teach you how to shoot a gun when you're in panic mode. Don't do that. Do not put me in panic mode and then teach me how to shoot a freaking gun. This is mean. Phew. I guess if I was really hurt and I can inject myself, but I think I'll be okay. <sighs> yeah, let me learn how to fire a gun, you know, uh, deal with a new gun in my own time. I don't just fucking throw one of those bastards at me. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. Is there anything in there? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. Just a bunch of those things. All right. That was scary. So I guess I need not forget. So in the options, let's look under accessibility. Oh, that makes me stand, this makes me crouch. Oh, this does both. This does nothing. Why did it tell me on this controller then? Okay, good. Ew. Pizza's ready. Ooh. Oh, look. <laughs> ha! Check that out. You can carry, you can hold two of them. That's neat. Is there anything in there? No, it's empty. That is a sauce that is lame. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, bad timing. Oh shit! <laughs> Drop my clip. Like an idiot. I wonder if I could have thrown a brick at it. Are we gonna play Last of Us or just throw bricks at things? Maybe. I keep trying to aim down the sights, the blue sights. That's not where the aim is, it's on the, the dot. So that's the only thing is it's changed up where my aim is, so if it gets me. Then the head crab comes off. What was that? Three max left. One, it is. Oh, there's another upgrade over there. And there was a heal station right here. find the thing for it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um. 
Uh, so sorry, little guy. This is gonna suck. Uh. Apparently I only can have two. Okay, that makes sense. Do break open, okay. Good to know. So it looks like I could upgrade the shoddy as well, maybe. Table number one is ready. Anyone? Table number one. Nope. All right. You get canned. Who knows? How about it? Oh. Half Life Pizza? Man, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to shoot him open. I thought I would have to. We got, all right. Just the pistol, huh? Oh yeah, you can do this too. Let's see what this gives me. Laser sight, might be good. I've got 11. I've only got 11, so... Um, burst fire. Burst fire is going to eat so much ammo. I keep hitting the stick. Definitely come in handy. Ah, beautiful. Laser sight on a shotgun. <laughs> Feels a little bit weird, but hey. Okay, is there anything else down here? Don't wanna, I don't want to close my eyes or miss a thing. That's the way I go, or if, is that the way I go? Gross. Ooh. Come here. Give me your bricks. Looks like that's the way I need to go. <laughs> no, come over here. Oh, you dicks. Both of you, both of you, both of you, both of you. Come on, come on. All right, yeah, 
let's go go back and check that ladder, I guess. Oh, I saw that. Resin do I have now? Four. <clears throat> hmm. Hard to tell which way I'm actually supposed to go here. I'm supposed to go this way. Or not. No, I'm not. Hey, look, more pizza. <laughs> Shotgun rounds. Clip. Clip. Nice. Okay, yeah. Oop. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm controlled by my hand, so when I turn my hand in a different direction, it changes my... ones they come off of there it looks like gross oh no oh that was a hit fire Blocks me off from there. Unless. Two ways, two ways.
still alive. Whoa! Can I shoot you through there? Yeah, I can. Okay, that looks like the way I'm supposed to go, so... Pizza, head crab, or tentacles with that? <laughs> Given the option, I recommend the crabs. Well, let me guess the flashlight. Shotgun shells. You're gonna make me grab it, aren't you? Hate it. This is this is fine. No, it's not, Alex. Let's not lie to ourselves here. This is awful. On a scale of one to awful, the worst. So for more ammo if I've got any. Actually. Do I have any more? I do. Three shells left. Last shell. Don't like. I save it again. Ooh. Okay. 
Implementation of the flashlight I really like. It's a, it's the way they've done it, it's pretty good. Cause I can steady my other hand. It's really dark. It is. Russ? Yeah? Can you just talk? About what? About anything. Literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Thanks, Russ. Okay, that was my fault. I'll be more specific next time. Thanks, Russ. I hate you. God, this reminds me, this past Halloween, I went to a amusement park that did horror night stuff, and, um... One of them was you went into an actual, like, sewer area. It was legit. You had to put, like, the hip waders on and everything. And I had to do it by myself because the two people with me chickened out. So I had to do it alone. <laughs> and so I basically had to walk through a dark sewer like this. Except I was, you know, knee-deep in water. So... To say I've not done something like this before, surprisingly, I have. Surprisingly, I have done something like this before. Big fan of this flashlight. And it, not unlike yourself, is also sensitive to the dark. Oh yeah? Meaning it should go on automatically when the lights go out. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. Goody, goody, goody. My arm's getting tired from holding the gun up all the time, though. I expect that to happen, though. Oh. I'm, I'm right back. Oh, I get it. I'm right back here. <laughs> so that's how you get this door open. Neat. So it should be a... Alright, Dark Omen, have a good one. Whoa! Nope. Thanks for stopping in. Do not have full chamber. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, remember, that clip is there. I meant to do this. Okay. Now I can see. All right, Russ. Really need you to talk again. Absolutely. Be specific. Um, before. What was life like before the combine? Ah, excellent. Alex, have you ever heard of a club sandwich? Uh, nope. Not once. Right. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day, okay? You add tomatoes, lettuce, not vegetable paste, Fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we used to call the pig. You toast the bread and you put all that inside it. You guys had all that? 
That's insane. It is. And I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey, and <laughs> more tomato, more lettuce, and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was six inches tall and weighed a pound and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before ours. Oh, shit. I know, right? That is... Wow. Thanks, Russ. Do not Alex. see those. I nearly walked into them. Okay. Am I still carrying it? Can't tell. Yeah, I am. Did that go under the fence? It did. Okay, I need to keep a better eye out. I didn't see that. That bothers me that I didn't see that. bothers me I did not see those barnacles there's another one I can st I can store that. Oh, neat. You know I can store that. Oh, hello. Oh, my back. Seriously, trying to hold this gun up the whole time is painful. I'm full health, pretty much. There's no point in wasting it. Got a couple things down there. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, I know how to do that. If I can help it. You're not supposed to still be alive. Oh shit. Ugh. Okay, didn't expect him to juke me like that. Don't do that. That one's actually dead. He's dead.
oasis if I can help it if I don't absolutely need him. There's more. Tisha's left. There's a lot of explosives. A lot. Lost it. Oh, God, I'm sweating. Sweating. Oh shit. He's got... Oh, that's a quick way to take him out. Good to know. Good to know. What's that? Don't know. Nothing I need to worry about. I thought Half-Life Alex would be, you know, not a scary game, you know, not like Saints and Sinners can be scary. Well, then they decided to pull this shit. It'd make it scary. <laughs> Shit. 
Jesus. See why this game is so much praise. It's a very impressive VR game. You also see why you're seeing a couple of people saying that playing this outside of VR takes a lot away from it. Wait, can you play it outside of VR? I thought it was only a VR title. Ugh. Loading zone. There's a mod that allows it to be played on a mouse and keyboard. Oh, okay, so yeah, there's a mod. Yeah, it wouldn't be as good. It, it, it's, it would lose a lot. A lot of it is about the being, being in here. Also, my control might die soon, but it is almost end of. In fact, it pretty much is, isn't it? Might as well stop it here. Cause yeah, this controller's about dead. Plus, yeah. But yeah, VR. It's it's it's. I, I can see it not being so good otherwise. It, it's entirely built around it and the experience of it. So, my flashlight went out. Because, yeah, it's. It, uh, the thing of it is, th again, this is a. This is an older headset. This is one of the. You know, this is the old vibe and it still looks great even in this it looks absolutely amazing uh the controls are wonderful especially with these controllers i don't know how they'd be with the old vibe i notice if i hold this too much i lose a bit of tracking because i'm holding one of my placing my hand on the one of the little tracking spools but but yeah it it works really well it's 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 really good So yeah, it's, and yeah, going through that part, the way they, you know, the gloves makes a really good way of, you can still pick things up like you want to, you know, bend down, pick something up by hand, or you can just aim at it and doink. That's a really good feature. I like that. And at least with these controllers, with the index controllers, it's so much easier for me just to grab things because I can... Because I can, you know, I can actually let go of my controller. And plus, it's pressure sensitive, too. So if I... Uh, I like that. That's a really cool feature. Oh, yeah, but I think I just saved it, so... Yeah, the controller's about dead anyway. So, yeah. I'll end it. And these controllers last a good while, too. Whew. Ooh, that was intense, though. That was... <laughs> that got really intense. Going through that dark bit. <laughs> like having flashbacks to uh, Saints and Sinners. Whew. I'm getting hot and sweaty. <laughs> really, really hot and sweaty. Whew, I'm really sweaty. I'm sure my face is very red, too. Yeah, this controller's flashing. So if you've never seen really the nitty-gritty of these controllers, um, I know you can kind of see them in VR, but, um, you know, that's kind of what it looks like. That's like the, the rotational tracking bit. And this uh, knuckle strap there which is completely adjustable you can push that in and rotate it up or down depending on your hand and then to uh, tighten you just pull right there and then if you want to loosen push that little button right there and then so much on it is everything on it's like touch sensitive so that that pad you can squeeze Right there, you can squeeze that. That's touch sensitive. That's This button's touch sensitive. All of these buttons on this face are touch sensitive. <laughs> so when I put my thumb on the thumbstick, it knows my thumb is there. If I put my index finger here, it knows it's there. 
It does make some guesses though, because if I put my index finger down here, the game thinks I'm putting my middle finger down there because it's making guesses. And it's actually pretty good at guessing, like if I raise my fingers, it will kind of guess where my hands are, at least in Alex. Now, games have to implement that, of course, but and I think it does it based on how my hand wraps around it, which is really cool. So yeah, that's the nitty gritty of the index controllers which work with the original Vive, so, and the, all the original Vive hardware. So, it's a really good, really good controller, and it was, it was made for this game. The, this game implements everything that these controllers do, but of course you can use any old controller. Um, it's, it's for multiple everything for, for Alex. So there we go. Um, yeah, so. I have to do a few tricks. I'm going to have to remember this when we go back to Skyrim so that I've tweaked things on here. <laughs> um, which means, actually... That means when I got those follows, the notifications popped twice, didn't it? Did you see, like, two visual pop-ups? Or was it just one? You probably saw two. Because it was that OBS and this OBS, and I didn't, I didn't toggle them. Oh goodness me! That was good. It's very much built from the ground up as a VR title, and definitely the most impressive one you've seen yourself. Taking that aspect away would just be kind of generic. Yeah, it would be. It wouldn't. The, and, and the levels are really kind of short as well when you think about it. And if you're doing it just as a standard FPS, um, you're going to just blaze through it. And you're not really going to get that that real feel of it. Especially because, you know, a lot of what kind of adds to the game so much is the actual reloading. You know, I have to sit there, eject my clip, pull out a new clip, hit it, you know and pull back the slide and you know same with the shotgun i got to pull them out load them in close it up all that kind of stuff you know and and kind of that almost panic moments when your clip runs out and you don't auto reload you know it's it's very much part of the experience it, it's all part of that experience and you know that having to to look and aim and and all that it's very much dependent on your own actions, your own abilities and aiming. And it's really good, and that's what I, I think I like about it. And it's definitely an impressive title. It's one that uses a lot of, you know, the current VR technologies um, and just makes it that much more immersive. And does it in kind of way, you know, with that like stuff where I can pull stuff towards me. You know, it, it seems a little bit cheesy, but it doesn't, but it kind of creates a lore behind it. And I mean, when I did it with um, Saints and Sinners, you had a little bit of that pull, but for the most part, you had to be close to things. And it didn't feel like it took you out of it, but yeah, it's really good. It's a really good VR title. I recommend it. Um, but we'll play more of it tomorrow. Um, like I say, we're not done with Skyrim VR. I just wanted to take a little bit of a break of it, from it and, um, and, and try it. Try, I wanted to really try these new controllers. Like, I wanted to see what they do at full capacity, you know? Because that's kind of what we got them for. Well, for other reasons as well, but... But, yeah, so... So that's good. And, you know, like I say, the game, even the old original Vive, looks great. Um, you don't really get that whole screen door effect. You, I mean, you get used to it anyway. After years of VR, it's just something you get used to. But they've again built it from the ground up for vr so it they've made it so you don't get that blur so it's really good i'd say it's definitely an excellent title and it was a flagship for the, it was really meant to highlight a lot of the things on the index itself but you don't have to have an index to play it so yeah that was good so yes, um, I will be back tomorrow to play more of this. Um, 
I don't know if I'll be on camera or not. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to mainly be on camera today as well because I wanted to, you know, show that range of motion that I'm having to do. Because I know when you just see through my eyes, you can't always see what my hands are doing, what my body is doing. You know, if I put my hands down out of sight, you don't know what's going on. That's why I kind of did all that on camera because this game really kind of benefits from seeing what I do physically as well. Um, so yeah, and we might we might do the thing, depending on how long this game is, we might do the thing where we weave Skyrim VR and this in, or if it, this game's short, we might just buzz through this. I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> All right, guys, well, time for me to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope you had fun. Hopefully everything turned out all right, too. I know we had to fudge with things, but um, I'll go back and look at it. Another reason I wanted to do this, too, is because it's going to get uploaded to YouTube. But I'm, again, thinking sooner than later I'm going to stop recording these things. So <laughs> I wanted to do it while I was doing recording. And plus, I know this game is supposed to be very intensive on your computer. And I wanted to do it while the other computer was doing all the streaming labor. But okay. All right, guys. Well, have a good one, and um, I'll see you all tomorrow. So, yeah, have a great afternoon, and I'll see you guys next time.